Okay, today we're going to look at how to fire roast a red pepper. Now you might have seen people do this with one of these little chef's blow lamps. And they're good, but it takes a very long time with one of those. So what I'm actually going to use here is, this is, just, this is a plumber's blowtorch, and it's a lot quicker. So first thing to do is have a plastic bag, open and ready to go. Put the red pepper onto a carving fork, and then light up the gas. And then we just play the, the gas over the whole surface of the fruit. And we need to keep on doing this all the way over until the thing is completely black. Okay, so that's blistered all over, but it's still not black enough. So I'm just going to keep on going and cover the whole surface. I'm going to go over that all over again now until it actually goes completely carbonised and black. The reason we're doing that is because actually this heat from the flame is, is slightly cooking the flesh underneath the skin. Okay, that's done. So now that goes straight into the plastic bag. And we'll just twist that to seal it like that. And we'll leave that now for 10 minutes. Okay, here we are 10 minutes later and I've done nothing to this pepper except leave it there in that plastic bag for 10 minutes. So now, let's take it out of the bag and see what we've got. Okay, it doesn't look all that different, but watch this. That skin just scrapes right off. So, we're going to take most of that off. I don't mind leaving a little bit of that on there because this, this skin, although we wouldn't want too much of it, has got a lovely smoky barbecue flavour to it. And so I'm not going to be too diligent about scraping it all off. And also notice that the flesh underneath now is, is gone a little bit soft and half cooked. Okay, so that's most of the skin scraped off and set aside. Just get rid of those bits there. Okay. Right now, I'm just going to cut round there, remove the stalk with all the seeds. A few little extra bits of seeds left inside there. And then it's really easy just to open it up, get rid of the last few little bits of pith and seed from the middle. And then I'm going to slice this into strips because I'm going to use this in a, in a savoury pepper and bacon bread recipe tomorrow. So I'm going to slice it up into thin strips. Now what you can do with this roasted pepper, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with this. You could, you could blend that up and use it as the basis for a barbecue sauce for basting meat. And that would be really nice because it's got that smoky bonfire sort of flavour to it. Or um, it combines especially well with butternut squash or pumpkin in a soup. This would make a fantastic flavour in a, in a pumpkin soup. And you can see how roasting with the blowtorch has just transformed the, the texture of this pepper from being crisp and, and a little bit on the dry side to being something that's, that's luscious and really rather juicy and moist. And that's, that's exactly what I want. So there we go. And I'll just put all of that in a little airtight container and that can go in the fridge. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with this, it's just got, in fact I'm going to taste a bit now. 
Mm, it's really nice. Okay, so that's how to fire roast a red pepper.